Good morning, everyone. Simon Holden here, the Sheriff of Tippingham, bright and early on this Sunday morning, just coming up to 9.20 a.m. Uh, as opposed to p.m. Now, I must apologise. Newbury yesterday, in, in what I thought was absolutely ludicrous scenes, uh, up to 20 horses pulled out because of the good ground, not firm ground, not dangerous ground, good ground. Uh, and my two in her HHV, the judge, were among the two. So there were two non-jiggers. Now, on Friday night, absolutely would never have thought that. So Mucho apologize. And uh, the judge, he had a second place. Uh, but if you watched his, his Judge Pottage free channel uh, video, he strongly selected just one. And that was the winner of the Scottish Champion Hurdle. So big up for him. Do check his Judge Pottage channel out. Um, now, HFC Ireland, if you are a member of it, you will, after a max bet win uh, yesterday, you will be sent a win lucky 15. So do not purchase this. But if you are not a member and you want a win lucky 15 today, then you can have it for a fiver at the top link. Now, HFC and Ireland has been absolutely smashing it up. Um, it's a combination of three things. Myself, a contact we've got uh, that we've recruited who is superb, and I think HFC Island members will concur on that, and some systems that we have developed that are unique to HFC Island. So they have produced winners up to 40 to 1. So we've got a real good three-pronged attack, and uh, we're going to get some real good first-time-out info uh, on this flat season, I can assure you from our boy out there. So if you want genuine info and some unique systems and my own uh, thoughts on all things Irish racing, then that could be for you. But you can start off today with that win lucky 15. Um, now, because of the people emailing in, taking the whatever out of me with the Brill Cream, I've decided it's going to stay there permanently, almost like an unofficial sponsor of Holden's Horses, HFC Club. So thanks to everyone at Brill Cream. If you are watching, you do work for Brill Cream, of course. Uh, I do accept backhanders, uh, any, any sort of thing like that. Just keep chucking the old red tin at me. So there you go. We, 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 we live in hope. I tell you what, it's not too cheap now is the old Brillo. Uh, right. What are we doing? I tell you what we're doing. We're going to go to Plumpton. But I do want to say, if you work for the BHA, know anybody that works in British racing, when the flat season starts, encourage flat meetings. It's really, really simple. Today, we've got Plumpton and Hereford. Now, I love both tracks. But we are in the flat season. So, uh, you know, take the hint. Now, we're going to go to the bumper. It's the 523. But before that, you see the Brill Cream thing sidelined me there. And that's why you should never have hair care products on. So, big mistake. But, you know. We learn, live and learn, don't we? Uh, HFC Saturday, legendary lucky, the legendary lucky. Here's what it returned yesterday to a one pound each way. It returned 92 pounds 84. We got Methuselah placed at 12 to 1. We got Brandy Cove placed at 20 to 1. And then lastly, Enduro de Fontaine won at 11 to 2. So they're now legendary. And those of you watching are not in HFC Club, this was sent for free from me every Saturday. In fact, you get free club selections every single day. That's why it's the fastest growing racing and sports tipping uh, club on the planet. So take the hint and get involved. You missed out on a biggie yesterday. And of course, on Thursday, we did the double dipper, two win bets and the double, the double uh, copped at 12 to one and the two singles on top. So that's HFC, uh, always keeping you ahead of the game. Uh, now, I did some welcome calls yesterday for our syndicate, the No More Syndicate. We're up and running. So if you want uh, involvement in that, you're in HFC club, uh, you have been given all the relevant links, so check that out. And, and please read the HFC Club message today. Uh, anybody who wants to have a discussion about that and needs some more uh, info, by all means. But hurry, hurry, hurry. There is a, a contact uh, detail going to be given on the HFC email. Another reason why you should be in the club. And uh, we can talk about it, as they say. But be quick, because it's going. 
Now, let's go to Plumpton. The 523. It's a bumper. I do like the old bumpers. And uh, it's got a red hot favorite from uh, one of my favorite trainers. And that is number one. Presenting a queen trained by the great Chris Gordon, ridden by that top cat himself, Tom Cannon, a man I annoyed on the uh, Goodwin Racing Cheltenham preview by telling him Edward Stone was not good enough to win the Arkle. Oh, well, uh, he uh, he rather had the better of that argument, and I'm sure he took it in, in good spirit. Yeah, that, that thing about, you know, get you done. On. It's all in fun. Uh, so there you go. He rides the favourite, won at Newbury last time, but... At the risk of annoying the master trainer, Chris Gordon, and the great top cat himself, I am going against them. So if he's slightly, forgive me for Edward Stone's about to say, maybe he's not such a whatever, I'm now going to go back to rock bottom in his mind because I am taking them on. I'm taking them on with number three, Desert Fortune. Now, there was a big word going around for that last night. Now, wait till you hear who trains this. It's only Christian Williams, uh, the uh, one-two in the Scottish National Friends up there at air yesterday, and they were in, in no doubt about the strength of the message for this. Uh, Desert Fortune, they've got it uh, first run. They got it from Declan, Declan Queeley in Ireland. Uh, a point-to-pointer -point with a big reputation, a five-year-old by, by Soldier of Fortune. Now, the key thing here is they clearly think this is useful. Presenting a queen, of course, is proven. Uh, at Newbury, but the ground was very soft there, and I wonder whether uh, this drying ground here might just uh, mean it's a struggle. And remember as well, it's very tough to win a, a second bumper with that penalty. Desert Fortune's got 10 stone 12. Presenting the Queen has got to lug 11 stone 5. So Desert Fortune doesn't have to be as good as Presenting a Queen and can beat it. Yes, I know that's why uh, handicaps work. So I think given the reputation of it, I had a look at that... Um, a point to point form, and a lot of people wanted this. Now, uh, Christian Williams has got it. I don't see any reason why they wouldn't have a go today. That uh, they uh, there was certainly a word for this yesterday. Now, they were in uh, confident mood, I'm sure they've had a hell of a party. Let's uh, whoever's bringing Desert Fortune uh, uh, knows what they're doing today. So, I think it's worth about three to one. I want to take this favourite on. Of course, it's got to give the weight to us. It's on different ground. I think there are enough variables for us to get the juice out of this three to one. You can get three to one with bet three six five. It's eleven to four across the board elsewhere. So come on in for that uh, Irish lucky fifteen. We've been smashing it over there. It's a fiver at the top link tomorrow. Thank you for all the uh, questions and interest. Obviously, we had to get. Uh, the weekend out of the way and all that was going but from tomorrow a lot of focus will be on entry and it's going to be hfc style so i'll be announcing tomorrow night on here tomorrow afternoon for club members about our entry plans it's going to be exciting as we head towards another fantastic week the national and the masters in one week oh my god oh how are we going to get through it i'll tell you how we're going to get through it quite easily because we are Holy horses. horses.